Deputy President William Ruto, who had attended an interdenominational prayer service held at the Chepkemel Primary School grounds in Uasingishu County, said no one in the country was above the law. While work on the other side, they are not our enemies, they are our competitors, but they too must follow the law. We are all subject to the constitution. He took a swipe at those accusing the government of disrespecting the law, saying the Jubilee administration has a record of abiding by the rule of the law. And the government of Kenya, democratically elected by the people of Kenya, will continue to be run on the basis of the constitution and the rule of law. And every public servant, whether they are in the executive or the legislature or the judiciary, all of us must submit to the constitution of Kenya. He urged the opposition to focus on future election, saying the 2017 general election is a closed chapter. Tunawaomba kwa heshima, tusikoroge nchi, tusikorogane, sisi kwa heshima, nyinyi ni viongozi, tunawaheshimu. Sasa mambo imekwisha ya uchaguzi, uchaguzi hile hiko ni ya huko 2022. Sasa hapa mujipange, katikati hapa, sisi nasi tujipange, tuonge sera, tuendeshe mambo ya taifa letu, mashindano itakuja badai na wakenya watamua. Remarks supported by a number of Jubilee allied MPs who urged the government to close ears on political noisemakers. Juzi watu walikuwa nasema at there is no independence of uh, parliament. At uh, parliament are equal independent. At uh, kuna influence kutoka state house. Nataka kusema mimi nikiwa chief whip kwamba parliament iko imara na iko independent vile ilikuwa hapa awali na hivyo ndio vile itaendelea kuendelea kuwa independent na kwa hivyo sisi tunaungana na nyinyi na kuhakikishia kama serikali ya county na counties zetu ambazo ni mrengo wa jubilee kwa ujumla tunawaunga mkono kikamilifu the MPs at the same time said the deputy president was well placed to take over the leadership of the country in 2022 karimu naanzia nyumbani nyinyi you must you must nacha, you must linda. Mwishimua naibu wa raisi ndiyo sasa Kenya mzima pia itachangia. Kuona kwamba azimio yake anapata vila nataka kufanya. Kwa hivyo yu exalezi mimi ni mekucha kutikilea wati ya western province. Mukoa wa western majirani wako. Kwamba sisi sote tuko nyuma yako mwaka wa 2022. Ruto has in the meantime said the government has released 3 billion shillings to pay farmers to adequately prepare for this planting season. Samson Kitavi, Channel 1 News.